Hey guys, it's GameTech Supershine back with another video, and in this video I'll be going over a Skype Universal Windows app coming to Windows 10. So, as we already know, Skype on Windows 10 is sort of a mess. You've got your normal Skype, but you've also got your Skype video, and you've got your Skype messaging, and you've also got your Skype phone, and none of them really work at all. Uh, they all pretty much suck, and because of the feedback that they've been getting from Windows Insiders, uh, they announced today that they're going to be adding a universal Skype app that actually does all of this together. This reminds me of what we had in Windows 8, where you had a Metro Skype app and a desktop Skype app, and they wanted to go away from two different Skypes, but they're going right back to it. Uh, but they do have some mock-ups, and the mock-ups look pretty good. They look pretty similar to the desktop app, but of course the universal app runs on mobile and tablets as well. And it, you know, rescales based off of DPI and everything. Uh, and it's going to be coming in the next Insider Preview, so I will obviously keep you guys updated on that, so be sure you're subscribed. Uh, talked about what's new in this version. Uh, just the basic stuff is going to be added on, such as signing in, seeing your contacts, uh, talking to your contacts and everything, voice calls. But they also said they're going to be adding all the features from the desktop version to the universal one, such as starting a chat, which isn't really a huge feature, but group messages, um, group calling and sharing screens and everything. Uh, this is a pretty good idea in my opinion. They're going to be unifying everything. They could decide to you know, stop producing the desktop app, just link everything here. But this also allows Skype to integrate better with Cortana, with the start menu, with the notification center. Um, and the mockups look pretty good. If it works well, if it's stable, and it has all the features, this can be a pretty good app. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good app. I obviously want to see, in terms of stability, in terms of functionality, what it can offer. Um, and what's something, another thing interesting that they mentioned is, start a chat with anyone using Skype or not using Skype. Meaning, is that like texting? Because that would be awesome. Because I know the Windows Microsoft's planning to bring texting to PC, but if this is how they're going to do it through Skype, then that's that's fine. It just seems like a very weird way to do it, but hey, it looks like a pretty good future for Skype here. I hope they can just unify the desktop app and the universal app. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something. I'll have the links for all the sources and everything in the description below. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.